Hi all, this is a video request by Brewer involving using the SRAM glitch, specifically the sub glitch, the 255 Pokemon glitch after you clear your save file with up selecting B to break your save file but not delete it because the game will freeze whenever you choose continue. Now this is the same glitch a lot of people know is the beat Pokemon Yellow in zero, 0 glitch, although there's a lot more you can do with it, just that. In this case, we can use any name we want. In this case, we're not going to swap to Pokemon 10, which would give us the expanded inventory. I'm going to do it with just swaps to corrupt D36D to D36E, which is the address for the map script on the current map, which is kind of like a global map script, so it works in any map you want. When this points to a bad location, the game will run bad code, basically, and then freeze the game. I reset slightly after the yes no box disappeared, but before the text advanced. And if we're lucky, we get a save file with 255 Pokemon in it. You can in fact use any pre-existing save file, so that number of Pokemon is carried over, such as using it to get all three starters anyway. That shown in another video. In this case I didn't swap with Pokemon 10 but slightly beyond and I keep swapping up to write FFFF in D36D to D36E. I also corrupted a lot more data such as the map tint, number of badges, Pokédex with some bits on, some bits off. I got the oldest file message because the trainer ID got changed. And I save the game and then it immediately freezes. The game saves the map script as well. So we're left with a brick save. Now, incidentally, you may be wondering why when you do the typical glitch with a swap to the Pokemon 10 to poke up the inventory why you get 152 Pokemon owned. It's because there are 19 seen and owned banks in the Pokedex addresses and they use bits. When you multiply 19 by 8 because there are 8 bits in a bank you get 152. So really it's a coincidence why you get 152. Although, it's still interesting and it led people to think maybe there's fate of Pokemon there, but there's not. This time we're going to use the SRAM glitch again, but we're going to do it with some item swaps instead. Item list is more precise and there are only two bytes involved for every swap. And when we swap the item corresponding with D36E to D36E, we can do the same effect with much less swaps than before. What we're going to see is an item called Ash, which will represent part of our map script, D36D to D36E. And when we swap that around, we can end up with different map scripts. And we're going to get one that freezes the game. So we end up, as we did before, with a glitch map script, which freezes the game. And we're forced to erase the save file with up selecting B or take out the battery, anything to delete it.
Sometimes the menu lags because of items with bad names. Unfortunately, you have to keep holding down and pressing B a certain number of times to get past them. If you press B too much, the menu closes, so that can be a nuisance. You get the classic 152 Pokemon in the Pokedex, but with a glitched map script. Now I'm swapping Ash, representing part of the map script, to create a bad map script. So now we've bricked our save file once again. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching!